Turbinic Incorporated of Orlando, Florida, is the manufacturer of a unique line of propulsion equipment. Their product line includes gas turbine engines, automotive superchargers, and thrust engines. These engines differ from more conventional designs in that they don't require air or oxygen in order to run. This is due to Turbinic's special monopropellant design. Monopropellant fuels contain all the constituents required for combustion in a single substance. The monopropellant fuel which Turbinic utilizes is thermaline. This liquid is easily ignited, clean burning, and relatively inexpensive. Further, it is compatible with most metals, storable for indefinite periods, and the cautions to be observed are no more involved than those ordinarily followed while handling other fuels such as high-octane gasoline. To start the engine, fuel is simply injected into the combustion chamber and ignited. Ignition can be accomplished in the absence of oxygen by using a high-energy blow plug. However, Turbinique prefers the more reliable and quicker starting resulting from an oxygen assist spark ignition system. With this system, oxygen is applied to the combustion chamber for only a fraction of a second each time the turbine is started. Once started, the engine will continue to run without further oxygen or air. This ability makes it technically feasible to operate such engines underwater or in the voids of space. Since most persons are not familiar with the operating sounds of such unconventional engines, their recorded sounds are presented on this record for the convenience of prospective customers. The first engine noises to be presented are those of a Model 2 microturbo gas turbine engine. The test engine was set up for operation on Turbinique's Crony Brake Absorption Dynamometer. The engine was started under complete stall condition. After a few seconds of stalled operation, brake pressure was reduced on the dynamometer to allow the turbine to rotate. The turbine whine can be heard as its speed is changed over the operating speed range. The engine run was terminated with dynamometer brake pressure applied. Thus, the coast down is rather abrupt. The turbine test follows. about to hear is that of a Turbinique auxiliary powered supercharger. The supercharger was set up and operated independent of a reciprocating engine. The supercharger's intake manifold was equipped with two Stromberg 97 carburetors. Both carburetors were set with their throttles in the open position. In order to demonstrate the charge's instant response capability on the maximum compressor load, the compressor discharge was not restricted. This allows the compressor to do the maximum amount of work. The turbo compressor's acceleration will naturally be greater under any other conditions of compressor loading. The supercharger test follows. Turbinique thrust engines, which will be heard next, create the greatest amount of noise during operation. The noise level of the thrust engine is significantly reduced when the engine is utilized in conjunction with a thrust augmenting ejector. This test, however, does not utilize an ejector. A Model 12T thrust engine will be heard operating on Turbinique's static thrust measuring stand. Its high velocity exhaust jet discharges directly into the still surrounding air. The thrust engine test follows. As an acoustical reference, Turbinique has recorded the sounds of three conventional engines. The first to be heard is a V8 automobile engine operating with an open exhaust system. This test is followed by a similar V8 auto engine operating with its factory-equipped mufflers. The last test in the reference series is that of a two-cycle, single-cylinder, cart-type engine. 
sound of reference engines follow.